What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on today's Two Stroke Tuesday bike of the day. This is a kick ass one off Kawasaki S2350, S Gary? S2. S2 350 Kawasaki, created by my madman friend here, Gary, who I've known since 1975 yes. from the motocross circuit. Uh, if the name Gary Smith rings a bell, he's still racing AHRMA on a we did a video earlier this year with his Honda CR250 framed CR480 motor, which is just, yeah. that was the original service Honda. <laughs> so this creation here, Gary, this thing is awesome. Let's start off with the fact it's a three cylinder Kawasaki and it's a two stroke, right? Two stroke Tuesday. Where do you start on this thing? Cause there's so many custom pieces and over the course of 10 years, Gary put this together. I want to start with the gas tank because Gary's a um, aircraft quality or level uh, machinist. In fact, there's some aircraft parts on here, including the exhaust. I'll let him explain that, but describe what you did to the, the tank here, because this is not something the average guy would do at home. Yeah, so this was the stock gas tank on the bike. And what I did was meld a, I believe it's a 2012 Ninja 250 top portion of the tank. I like the, uh, the coolness of the, the race cap, right? It's beautiful. Um, so it's all welded, Caswell sealed, um, excellent body work. The paint's beautiful. Did you paint this too? Actually, I had a friend paint it. Like, really I nice. Can't take credit for that, but colors a ten, of course, absolutely. So the tank is beautiful. What about the tailpiece? Uh, who made this? This I actually got off of eBay. It was uh, just a fiberglass piece. It looks cool. It's perfect. A bracket, a mounting bracket for it, and uh, kind of fit right on. So there's some extensive mods to the um, foot pegs and shifter. And I believe the rear frame has also been modded too a little bit, right? The yeah, main the, cradles. Yeah, the stock frame would have came back way back here. Yep. Because it had a giant seat on it, right? Um, but yeah, so it's, it, we kind of stubbed it up a little bit. And... Very cool. Nice, nice. It almost looks like a, like an airplane um, afterburners right here, the, the, the twin uh, brake light, which is cool. And you got the turn signals, which keeps it street legal. Uh, the front end, describe the front end here, because this is obviously not a 1973 front end. No, so this is an, um, I, I believe it's a 05 R1 front end. Um, actually, I had acquired the forks first. Of course, you got to do something, with them, so we have to attach it to this thing. But the front wheel's a um, SR500 Yamaha front wheel. These are the R1 rotors that were adapted to fit that wheel. How did you adapt R1 rotors to fit an SR500? <laughs> uh, that's not something the average guy's gonna do at home, I'm sure. Yeah, these, um, I believe, were the stock rotor to wheel mounting brackets on the, on the Kawasaki. Okay. And there's a lot of industry standard sizes and things, so uh, just changed the whole pattern and they kind of just that's freaking awesome. lined up, right? So SR500 front wheel with a, what size? Tire is that a rim? 19. 19 inch? Yeah. So you got obviously a very powerful dual disc brakes, upside down forks. How did you how did you get the triple clamps on here? How did, that's a whole nother uh, yeah, so magic these, trick. These are all R1. Um, this was an aftermarket thing I found on eBay. Yep. Just, just put it on there. Um, so uh, there wasn't a lot of mods that required to put the R1 front end on, on an S? Not really, not really. You just got to get the bearings to fit. That's fantastic. And outer. Yeah. And that's a custom headlight mount right there, and, and a um, kind of like a European spec front headlight looks like. Yep. Very cool. And, and this is the original tachometer. Original tach. Very nice. Uh, Clip-on bars. Clip-on bars. This is actually a Summit Racing tachometer mount. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for like a um, a GMC 350 yeah, or something like yep, that, right? Yep, something like that. That's cool. That's cool. Now this is another piece I got to show you here. Circus. Freak Show. Uh, this is, if you haven't guessed already what this might be, this is your two-stroke premix, right? Absolutely. Correct? How many ounces does it hold? I think eight ounces. So uh, is it eight ounces to uh, two, what would you put, like two gallons of gas in that if you're out on yeah, the road? Yeah, something like that if you want to run it a little bit rich. So it, it's set up for, for premix, obviously, but it does have the, the, the oil pump back in there if you wanted to convert it back to that. Um, I guess the next thing we should talk about is, is it pegs, because this is where some of the magic happened and some of the more complicated uh, procedure to do this, which was he set this up as a rear set a little bit farther back, a couple inches back, which you said this is one of the hardest things to do right here, the rear brake, right? Yeah, that's actually an SL125 uh, rear brake lever. 
with the stock Kawasaki pad on it. Very cool. But to get it to snake around like that, not hit the pipe, still have the same correct feel for the rear brake because that's drum. Uh, it took a little bit. Required some machining for sure. So the rear brake works like it originally did, and um, it requires some craftsmanship. And I think on the shifting side also, because this is somewhat of a rear set, they're, they're a little lower in, or higher, excuse me, and farther back. So you had to craft the, um, the shifter. To, uh, you can see the machine work done right there, but you have to look closely to see where the magic is on it. But that's, that's, that's the kind of stuff the average guy can't do. I left do. the same rubber pegs on it just because I, you know. Because it's cool. <laughs> some flare on there. The motor, uh, tell us what's been, been done to the motor. Motor's pretty much stock. Um, initially I had a set of K&N filters on it and the bike just didn't run right. So I ended up putting the stock air box on it and uh, runs like a top now, so. What do you think she revs out to, if you already guess? It goes to the moon, I don't know. Easily 12 grand. No shit. 10 grand. Yeah. <laughs> Must sounds like the hounds of hell. And, and guys, stay tuned, oh, we will be ripping this it thing. It sounds we're, like a missile, it's we're, cool. We're gonna go right through it, put some fresh fuel in it, uh, have Wizard uh, um, check the jetting and everything, make sure it's all, all good, and we'll fire it up, and we'll do a riding demo for it. Is she a wheelie machine? It can be, <laughs> <laughs> So, So the top end's all new on it too? Top end's all new. Um, these are JR power pipes. Yeah, those it's are a beautiful. Fun thing they used to do back in the day. Very cool. In the uh, the um, describe the uh, those are off a of F. Uh, I don't know if that's an F thirty five or F sixteen. Uh, a little scavenger tube. Scavenger. This is like a titanium yeah, piece. Yeah, it's that, a titanium that, piece. Very cool. So gold chain sprockets. Is that the stock rear rim? Yeah. Yep. Very cool. How many hours total do you, labor? Do you, <laughs> if you had to guess. Couldn't tell you. Give me a swag swag number. Just the tank alone. Uh, Five hundred. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Seriously, many the, many the, weekends. The, many, the, many the, weekends. the tank itself had to be uh, like yeah, that's, that's a like, that's a big know, commitment. Know. Cutting the top of the tank off, welding a, a new piece on, and then making it look like it never happened. A testimony to your skill set because I don't know a lot of guys that could do that. Maybe Joe Abate and a few other guys you in the just industry. Just be patient and, and have a direction. Yeah, well, clearly a labor of love, no wow. doubt. Very cool piece. And, and your wife's happy you're selling it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm actually happy. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, because these are, these are, it's like riding a motocross bike on the street, really, right? Yeah. And uh, just the more it revs, the more you smile. It's. Yeah, I can't wait to ride it, man. I'm excited. We'll take this down Reservoir Road, man. 22 turns and 2.2 miles. So. You're basically turning the whole way. That's what that's designed for. This is another piece Gary bought in. Um, another little two-stroke. This is a uh, the Mr. 50, MR50 Honda. This has been a, under your bench, you said, for like 10 years? Yeah, uh, it's just another project I'll never finish, so pretty much cool. all original. It does look pretty nice, man. It is. Usually it is. they're it's hammered by, by yep. uh, kids. Uh, like like when we were kids, this, this thing, we would have destroyed this thing. This is by a kid who got scared of it in... Uh, didn't ride it much, probably. Because <clears throat> usually they'd be hammered to, in, the, in the submission and it'd be a pile of parts. But Gary, thank you again for bringing down this kick ass machine. Oh, it is really a cool piece. Gary, any closing statements? Uh, the, the gear up here, all, all this is. That's all R1 gear? It's all R1, yep. Um, some of the stuff that's I had to adapt, this and that, but. Very cool. Any words of wisdom that someone might be uh, undertaking a project like this themselves? Just have patience. <laughs> patience and a vision. Yeah. That's what you need. Yep. Without dreams, we perish, right? So this, this is a cool dream that uh, you've been working on, on and off. I've sit on and off for about 10 years to build this probably thing. Probably every bit of 10 years, yeah. Wow. How many miles do you think you put on it since it's done? Not many. Probably maybe 100. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. But awesome. I would, uh, I'd work on it for... Be all hot on it for a while and then it would sit for two years this would be a cool yeah. piece to take to uh mid ohio and do some hrma racing with you know maybe like billy Blythe swing a leg over a resident road racer so again thanks for sharing this with us um guys this will be up and running soon and up for auction so stay tuned if you like this bike give us a call at 860-454-7024 we're going to go through this thing and uh find our new home thanks for watching god bless america